Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Today we're going to be learning about Tinker's Construct. Um, specifically the basic starting tools of Tinker's Construct as well as the modifiers for Tinker's Construct. So to get started we have a tool station, a part builder, a pattern chest, and a stencil table. These are what's required to get started. You don't exactly need the pattern chest, although I prefer using it because it allows you to store um, all your patterns that you're going to be making. And frankly, there's quite a bit. All right, so we got our blank patterns. We take this and put it in our stencil table. And I think we'll get a tool rod, a pickaxe head. Oh, I don't know. Um, we're going to need a sword blade, wide guard, and a tool binding pattern. Now, to know which um, stencils you'll need, you can go straight into your tool station and click on the different parts, and it'll actually kind of highlight it, and it'll say the required parts um, for it. In this case, we're going to be making a pickaxe, and we're also going to be making a broadsword. Um, this is just to kind of demonstrate um, starting this off without the metals, uh, l like your basic items. Alright, so we got our stencils made. Now we're going to go over here and we're just going to drop them in here, okay? So now we actually have to make the parts. So to do that, we take our pattern, and then we kind of choose what um, what exactly we want to do. So in this case, let's just, I don't know, we're going to make a complete paper item for the hell of it. Alright, oh, let's take that. These are the extra parts. Um, if it doesn't use all of the item, because as you can see, each one has a material cost. This has 0.5, this is one. So if it doesn't use all the item, it'll kind of refund the, the stuff it doesn't use rather than use it. All right, there we go. So that, that could be a complete paper thing. Uh, we're actually gonna use multiple items to kind of demonstrate this though. So I'm gonna get a stone pickaxe head then. And then, I don't know, let's do um, a thomium pickaxe head as well. All right. Now, let's get, I don't know, like, yeah, um, okay, yeah, we'll get three wooden tool rods and whatnot, we're, we're gonna need those for a few things anyways, and, I don't know, let's also get a thomium sword blade, um, stone white guard, good, and then, um, let's also get a stone, Stone wide guard. Yeah, let's do a stone wide guard as well. Or not a stone, cactus. So there we go, cactus wide guard and whatnot. All right, so th this is a good amount of um, various stuff we can use. Let's just get just a little bit more. Um, I want you to be made. So there we go. All right, so yeah, plenty of stuff. So let's start by making the tools and kind of see... Um, what each item does for them. Uh, let's start with the broadsword. We're going to be using a cactus tool rod, um, then we'll use a stone wide guard, and a thomium sword blade. Now as you can see this has a durability of 480, attack of 3 hearts, and 4 modifiers are remaining. I will explain what modifiers are in a second. Now if you want to make the item, just take it out of there. Um, now let's make another one. Uh, we should have another sword blade here. Oh, no, I forgot one. Let's let's make one more. Alright, let's just make like, I don't know, um... Uh, stone will do. Yeah, let's do stone. Alright, so... Now we'll make, um... A stone sword with a stone wide guard and whatnot. Now, as you can see, it has three modifiers remaining instead of four. Why is that, you might ask? Well, it's because of Thaumium. Thomium adds one extra modifier, um, as well as paper. Paper adds one mo extra modifier as well. Um, so it's up to you if you want to use these or not. Thomium has a lot more durability, whereas paper is kind of like terrible, terrible durability. For example, um, I can make a pickaxe out of just nothing but paper. As you can see, it'll have a ton of modifiers, very slow mining speed, and essentially no durability. But um, it's the modifiers that would kind of give it its stats. We could also um, use our Thaumium pickaxe head, a paper tool rod, um, and then we need a tough binding. So let's just do, I don't know, um, 
Stone binding. Yeah, let's do a stone binding. There we go. So now we got a Thomic writable stone bound. So mining speed is seven is slightly better. Durability is still not all that amazing, but it's 120, and it can mine obsidian up to obsidian, and five modifiers remaining. So now that we kind of have like some tools and whatnot, um, let me explain uh, one thing I did not go over. Jagged. Jagged um, is basically as the tool lose, loses durability, it'll gain damage. Um, Stonebound, as the tool loses durability, it'll gain mining speed. Now, obviously, Stonebound probably isn't ideal for a, uh, for a sword, being that it affects mining. But um, it's really up to you, whatever you have on hand. Um, as you can see, Stonebound's on this one as well, so that would be good. And obviously, the higher durability, the more speed you will get. All right, now let's um, start by covering modifiers. Uh, modifiers are pretty, pretty amazing. So, let's get started with them. First, we're going to put our tool in here. Let's say we want to, um, I don't know, let's say this is like our best pickaxe we have, like, ever. Like, best, best pickaxe ever. Um, and we really, really want to increase our mining yield. Let's use Lappies. Lappies is luck. Um, it can stack up to 450 and only uses one modifier. As you can see, we went down from f um, 5 to 4. And um, we can keep building this up until we eventually get Fortune 3. Um, when you finally do reach Fortune 3, uh, it will continue only using one modifier. But um, let's say you wanted to add Redstone. Redstone works a little bit differently. Um, redstone works in the way that, essentially, it'll go up to 50, and then it'll actually use another modifier. Um, to to add more on. So as you can see, we went from 3 to 2 now. So we're using an extra modifier every time we kind of break that upward limit. So you got to keep that in mind when you're doing this, that um, you can run out of modifiers. As you can see, we're almost, we're now completely out of modifiers. But you can also see that um, we now have way more mining speed, and durability is still terrible. So Let's say we wanted to up the durability, but hey, we're out of modifier slots. Well, you can um, add one diamond and one gold block. This will give you an extra modifier slot. Now, let's say that really isn't enough. We kind of need an extra one. Um, we can then add a nether star, which is our second mo modifier slot. Now, if you really, really want another modifier slot, there's really no way to add another one past a nether star and a golden uh, gold block and diamond. You can do them in any order, you just can't use them multiple times. Uh, let's get a battery also. In this case, we're going to get an RE battery and a red uh, at mod.thermal. Um, and then we're also going to get a leadstone energy cell. Alright. Now let's say um, we wanted this specific pickaxe to be rechargeable. Basically, it would not lose our ability until all of its energy is gone. We can add a leadstone energy cell, um, which would make this accept redstone flux as a form of energy, or we can add an... Oh, I guess they didn't add the RE battery in. Um, they might have removed it, let's see, unless they changed it. Uh, do 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 And these are all the modifiers that um, you really need to know about. Oh, uh, we need a circuit as well. So um, if you're ever curious about any modifier in the game, definitely refer back to the, um, to the red book. Um, you can check any eye on how to get that book. Um, that's extremely helpful if you're trying to figure things out. Now we can also add these on, and this will allow it to take EU. So we could just charge this in the battery box or whatever. Um, so let's put that on, and let's say we don't want it to just mine obsidian. Uh, we, what we could do is we could add a diamond, and uh, it will actually up, up its mining level. In this case, diamond won't upgrade it past obsidian, um, unfortunately. That's just something you'd have to deal with. But let's say you had the, um, this paper pickaxe right here. Um, let's let's go all out on this. Let's try to make this as good as possible. Um, so in this case, we're going to add a diamond. 
So as you can see, it went from stone to obsidian. So now we can mine obsidian with this and it has an extra 500 durability. Awesome. Uh, obviously we're going to add like luck because luck's freaking amazing. Now you can go up to 450. I'm just going to stop there to kind of give an example. Um, then, I don't know, let's say we really, really want more durability. We can add an emerald, which actually increases the d durability by, I believe it's about 50%. And then ups its mining level, but since this is already obsidian, it really doesn't matter. Um, but the, basically, the more durability you have, the more this will do. So let's add that. Um, now, let's add redstone, because who doesn't like to mine faster, right? Um, and then we can keep doing this as long as we want, um, so long as we have those extra modifiers. And you can do um, the same as before. You can add a diamond and a gold block as well as a nether star and that'll do that you can add on auto smelting which can be found in here um, if we go down here we can look for the auto smelting oh auto repair which is a ball of moss so if you got nine mossy cobblestone you can um, combine that into a ball of moss you got your uh, lava crystal which does auto smelting this is how you make the lava crystal in the ball of moss luck nether quartz which adds damage i'll explain that in a second uh fiery uh which is basically blaze powder and the more powder you have the more damage the fire does um necrotic allows you to absorb hp silky um basically silk touch uh that's described right here on how to make um the silky jewel thomium or that's a thomium no that's an obsidian plate uh right there this adds reinforce as well, so you can use that to to up durability as well. Knock back with a piston, beheading to get heads, obviously. Um, Bane of arthropods with a spider eye, smite, which is consecrate soil, described here on how to make it. Uh, electric, we went over that. Flux, we already went over this. You can use this as well, a flux capacitor or a leadstone energy cell works, which I used as well. See, um, and this describes in detail on adding extra modifiers. So I think that covers everything I really wanted to cover today. Um, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching the video. If you liked it, please um, press like. Also leave a comment um, saying what you liked or disliked about the video. Um, you can share it on social media sites by going to share and clicking on the different social media buttons. Um, depending on what you have. And if you want to support me financially, you can actually use this link in the description, um, which will take you to um, Amazon.com. So if you're looking to make purchases, go, um, go through this link if um, you want to make some purchases off of Amazon. That'll support me financially. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all later.